scoring position. Boston looking to snap its three-game losing streak. First to forward Cleveland with Kurt Schilling going bottom one. Victor Martinez, two-run shot is fifth. Moved to the cleanup spot for the first time this season. Usually hits sixth. Schilling's only runs allowed. He gave up seven hits in seven. Jake Westbrook in a jam. They're loaded in the fourth. Gets Mark Bellhorn to hit into the 4-6-3. Westbrook allowed just six hits in six scoreless innings. He got 13 ground ball outs. Top seven. Rick White in a jam in relief with the bases loaded. Facing Brian Dahlbach. Oh, that's a big strikeout. How about one more big curveball? Jason Veritek can't get it. Top nine, Rafael Betancourt in to close. Johnny Damon on third. He's the tying run with one out. Manny Ramirez is on deck. The infield is in for the clutch, clutch David Ortiz. This would be clutch. This would not. Here's a ground ball. Ron Belliard, Damon stays at third. There are two outs. Eric Wedge going to pitch to Ramirez, the former Indian. Getting a 3-2 pitch here from Betancourt. Manny not biting ball four. Daubach is up next. Swings at the first pitch. Boston stranded 13 runners. They lead the league in that category. They've lost four in a row. Damon said afterward, anytime this team loses four in a row, there is something terribly wrong. Chicago at Baltimore. Sox coming off a 12-game homestand. Half-hour rain delay. Field looked like Churchill down Saturday. Bottom one, leadoff bat of Brian Roberts. Nice, clean uniform. He walks, steals second, and he begins to accumulate grime. Top two, Willie Harris up, lines a single pass to Diving Roberts, and now he's looking like a tied commercial to be. Now, after the end of the inning, Roberts in the dugout, and he tries, Jake, come on, hug me. Hug me, hug me. Returns with a clean jersey, muddy pants. The jersey, by the way, available on eBay. We go to the bottom of the ninth. Billy Koch in, socks up, 5-2-3-1. Koch walks Gibbons. Three batters later, two outs, Koch walks B.J. Suroff. We've got two on, two out. Mr. Clean, there he is, Roberts, wild pitch, runners advance, Ozzie Guillen, oh, earmuffs. And Koch walks, Roberts, bases loaded, and Don Cooper comes out, hey, st steady, big fella. Melvin Mora, bases loaded, two outs, laces the single to right, two run score, it's 5-4. But you know, the Sox are 9-1 and one in one-run games this season, so they got them right where they want them, right? Miguel Tejada is the next batter. Sox bullpen still sitting in Juan Arribe with a whole lot of glove. Force out at second. White Sox win 5-4 Arribe. Even mud off Koch's face. Reds wrapping up a four-game set in Houston. Roy Oswald, oh, he loves to pitch against these guys. He would strike out seven and six innings, gets junior in the third. Griffey has to leave with stiffness in his right hamstring. Oswald would leave, trailing 4-2. It was 4-4 in the sixth. Craig Biggio doubles into the left field corner. That gives Houston the lead. The Astros are up 5-4. In the eighth, here's Javier Valentin off Brad Lidge. Oh, two-run home run is first. He said afterward, I feel really big. I feel like Reggie Jackson. Reds win 7-5. Cincinnati snaps a five-game losing. Four-game set at Bush. Greg Maddox, 10 wins shy from 300 for his career. He's on first base in the third inning here. And Maddox, there he goes. He's stealing. Goes to third on Jason Marquis' wild pitch. That's Maddox's sixth career stolen base. He would later score on a Todd Walker single. 1-1 in the fifth. Marquis is on first, and he steals second. I'm making this a top play nominee because it's his first career stolen base and because Marquis and Maddox, first time since 1950, that both starting pitchers in the same game stole a base. Last guys to do it, Warren Spahn and Bob Rush. Top 6-3-1 Cubs, Sammy to center, Jim Edmonds. Ziggly. Ball bounces over the wall, ground will double for Sosa. He was two for four, but did not score there. Bottom six, Albert Pujols into the bullpen. His eighth of the year, and the Cardinals are back within a run. Bottom seven, Maddox facing Ray Lankford. That ends the inning. Maddox allowed just two runs on seven hits in seven. Struck out six, did not walk a batter. 5-3 Cubs in the ninth. Sammy, two-run shot is only RBIs of the series. Home run number six for the season. 5-45 for the career. Cubs win 7-3. They get the four-game split. Through eight, never faced the Jays before. Bottom nine, two-nothing Royals, two out. Gobble, thinking complete game. Carlos Delgado, thinking double. Gobbles up that pitch. Hitter out thinks pitcher. Next batter, Josh Phelps. Single to center, Delgado scores. There goes the shutout. It's 2-1, and uh, Gobble goes from shutout to just playing out of the ball game. Mike McDougal comes in. Question is, is he capping it? Single walk to load him up, and then Orlando Hudson walks, and we are now tied at two. No coffee for you. Further damage averted, though. Top 10, bases empty, full count.
Aaron Guile against Terry Adams to the window, to the wall. There goes the ball, his fourth of the season. Royals up one, bottom 10. Jamie Serta recalled from the minors earlier in the day. Major save, first career save, gets Delgado to hit into the 6-4-3 double play, and the Royals win. Hold here, Rangers, best Reed. team batting average in the Reed. majors. They're hitting 312, but bottom first after a Michael Young out drop the average to 311. Hank Blaylock. Oh, off Paul Abbott. There's a base hit. The average back up to 312. Next up, Alfonso Soriano. His third of the year, and the average is up to 313. It's 2-0 Texas as Abbott was absolutely shelled. Gave up nine runs on eight hits and three and a third. Later in the inning, David Delocci, a three-run shot is fifth, and the Rangers average up to 314. You should have called Collect. Yeah, well, geez, I hope she's <laughs> still there. Kevin Mensch, as a Mensch, hits 315, still in the first. Michael Young, another three-run homer. Eight-nothing Rangers. They're hitting 316. Top three, here's Rocco Baldelli. For Tampa Bay, right back to Kenny Rogers. Rogers tossed a four-hit shutout, and the Rangers win 9-0. Texas Rangers in first place. They've won eight straight at home and 9 of 10 overall. Detroit Tigers opening a three-game set at Anaheim. Bartolo Colon, 10.54, 0-3 in his last three starts against the Tigers. Top one, Pudge. Say hello to a little fry. Two-run shot is third, and it's 2-0 Detroit. There are 4-2 in the sixth. Eric Munson. To right, Vladimir Guerrero is there having a Jose Canseco kind of moment off his glove, not his head. E9, two runs come in. It's 6-2 Detroit. Bottom seven, it's Vlad the Impaler. The Angels are within one here. Single to center. They wave Darren Erst. Daddy jogs in and ties it at six. Next up, Troy Gloss. Rondell White is back there. He's drifting. He's at the wall. Home run for Gloss, number eight. Angels win, 11-9. Bonds, who missed the opener of the Giants-Mets series because of a cold, opening up, kind of, to the New York media. Says he'd like to retire after next season and would probably not be tempted to play longer to set the Major League home run record. That's an $18 million decision, Bonds' paycheck for the 2006 season. Bonds says he's not concerned about any steroid tarnish on his records and does not believe he's part of any criminal investigation. Quote, as far as I know, I ain't being investigated. As for quitting after next season, Bonds hinted he may go help out at a college, not as a coach, just help. Quote, I want to leave, I want to do something else. Bonds also said, quote, half the stuff I say, I don't believe. So... Believe what you will. Believe this. Bonds, not playing. Says it's the first time in 19 seasons. Uh, Cold has sidelined him. That's him with the arrow. That's uh, Jenny Fitch without the arrow. She's a softball player. That's Donald Trump. He's a zillionaire. Bottom third. Mets down a run. Kareem Garcia hits it back off. Brett Tomko. Former Medegardo Alfonso throws it away. Runner scores. Game tied. The Donald on the Edgardo. It's the Mets. Get fired. <laughs> Bottom six, more troubles for Alfonso. He's no apprentice, but been around the block, but he's got block hands there. Can't handle it. Mr. Trump, your thoughts on Mr. Alfonso? You're fired. Oh, wow. More problems for Mrs. C's favorite player, Fonzie. Steve Traxel hitting it up there, and Fonzie calls off JT Snow. Can't make the play. Oh, he'll not make the next show either because you are... You are a loose cannon, and I have to say, you're fired. Oh, Fonzie. Hey. Mets win. 6-2. I think he practices that at home. <laughs> World champion Marlins hosting the Dodgers. Florida's lost three straight. They've got Josh Beckett on the mound. He's 2-2 two and two this season. Top five, Marlins up to Cesar Esteras hits the grounder to second base. Damian Easley in for the injured Luis Castile, and Glove didn't live there anymore. Beckett, eight innings, one earned, seven Ks, four errors, including one by Armando Benitez, who was 10 for 10 on save opportunities this season. But after the error, that allowed Paul LaDuca to get on base. Adrian Beltre, RBI single, allows LaDuca to score. This game tied. Top 11, two runners on. Justin Wayne, Hawaii boy. Almeida signs, grounder to third base. Ball went through Mike Mordecai's legs. Beltre scores, or limps home. Fourth air, we talked about. Dodgers go up 4-3. Bring in the Gagne. 70 consecutive saves, dating back to the Millard Fillmore administration. Damian Easley. Oh, he's a great pitcher to watch. Eight save of the season for Gagne, and the Dodgers win 4-3.
Tigers in Anaheim, Detroit, winless there since May 7th of 2002, 0 and 9 over that stretch. They just don't like it there. Yeah, bottom two. Benji Molina. He's happy to see the Tigers in the house. It's a three-run shot. It's third. It's four nothing Angels. Here's Troy Gloss. You know he had the the Lasix deal in the off season. No more contact lenses. So let's find out if it. Yep. Yes, yeah, just read. It's Troy. The second line is Yard off Esteban Yan is ninth. Troy Gloss, I'd say the whole Lasix deal worked out all right. Fellas call him T Roy. Thanks for that. 7 2 Angels, Jose Guillen is third, doing a little surgery on that one. Angels win 11 4. Anaheim has won 10 of 12 overall and 18 of 20 against Detroit. Safe go in Seattle, top first. Jamie Moyer facing Christian Guzman, and Guzman thinks this is a foul ball. Dan Wilson knows it's fair, tags him out. Ron Gardenhire is run by plate up Marty Foster. Gardenhire ejected three minutes and nine seconds into the game. The game would last another four hours, 44 minutes, and 51 seconds. He missed all the fun. Well, he missed a ch couple chances to get ejected again. Yeah. For the ninth, 3 2 Seattle. Every day, Eddie facing his old team for the first time. Two out, two on, full count to Tory Hunter to right. Guzman scores to tie it. Corey Koski's the go-ahead run. They're waving him in, and he is out, but it looks like Marty Foster missed this call. Koski not happy. He thinks he's safe, and you know what? We think he may have been right. Oh, Wilson never got him. We're going to extra innings. Two outs in the 10th. Michael Kadair knocks it into left. Lou Ford going to come in. He's going to try and score. Here's the throw, and Lou Ford is out. A lot of plays at the plate. The yeah, Flyers. Yeah, got to have them. Top 11, Doug Mankiewicz. He singles. Guzman thinks Ichiro catches this, so he goes back to first. He's out. Two brain cramp plays in one game for Guzman. This guy was clean shaven when this thing started. The bottom 16 are on the corners for Scott Spezio. Ground ball. Randy Wynn coming home. And Randy Wynn safe. Mariners win, but hold on. Marty Foster, we're sorry to say, may have missed another one. Looked like Wynn was out, but he's ruled safe. Four hours and 48 minutes. The M's win 4-3 and 16. They're 4-0 in extra innings. Philadelphia Cardinals seven and two on the road this season. Now the last time these two played a little gamesmanship, it was a legal flashback last thirty. The Tony Larusa out of the umpires check pat the bats bat. And players like Burrell always appreciate being shown up by the opposing manager. Back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Bobby Abreu, Jim Tomey, and then pat the bat. One shot ain't enough, Jack. You better make it three. Back to back to back, Jacks. And that's a triple shot of top play for you. Six five Cardinals. Bottom of nine. Their Cardinals are five and one in one run games. And Larusa calls for the intentional walk on Tommy to get to Burl. Still no respect for Pat's bat. So he's going to face Jason Eisringhausen with the bases loaded and two out. And Izzy strikes out the side, but that one gets away from Mike Matheny. He's a two-time Gold Glover, though, and he gets Pearl at first. Oh, if somebody had been wearing their PF Flyers, I don't remember seeing it. I just chucked it. It could have been real ugly. It could have been a nightmare, Matheny said. 6-5, Cardinals. Cubs back home from a three and four road trip hosting Arizona. Windy evening in the Windy City. Top four, Steve Finley. Off rookie Sergio Mitre is seventh. Mitre allowed four runs on seven hits in four. Sammy Sosa coming into the game. Only two Ks away from 2,000 for his career. Facing Steve Sparks, knuckleball. Grounds to third. Sparks went seven and a third. Looked good. Gave up three runs on five hits. Looking for his first win as a starter since August of 2002. Top eight, Matt Cada, a home run away from the cycle. Francis Beltran gets him, though. Cada finished three for five. Bottom eight, Sosa. There it goes. Not striking out here. Three-run shot is seven. And the Cubs down 6-0 are on the board at 6-3. Out of nine, Jose Valverde facing Michael Barrett. Good Diamondbacks win 6-3. Arizona has won three of four from the Cubbies this year. Hosting Lou Pinellas, Tampa Bay squad. Bottom two, Tampa Bay up a run. Mark Teixeira facing Victor Zambrano. Nothing like a good piece of hickory. Now this game is tied. Top seven. Rangers up 4-3. Chanho Park left with the lead. Uh, Jeff Blum against Erasmo Ramirez. That ball is leaving the park. We are tied. Blum's second home run of the game. Top nine. Tied. Bam Tino.
Tino Martinez off Jeff Nelson, his former Yankee teammate, his second of the game, and Tampa Bay up 5-4. Bottom nine, two out, Danny's Baez on the hill, striking out Hank Blaylock. Five home runs for Tampa Bay in the 5-4 win. New York at Oakland. Yankees have won six straight, and they swept Oakland in three games at home last week. Bottom three, Donovan Osborne strikes out Bobby Crosby. Jermaine Dye tries to go home. He's caught in a rundown. Jorge Posada throws the ball off Dye's back, and Jermaine Dye scores. Then the ball gets way away, so Rubio Durazo, he's a greedy bugger. He decides to try and score, but Alex Rodriguez covering home, and Durazo is out. Eric Chavez, does the name Ruby Begonia ring a bell? Solo home run, four of his eight homers this season have come against the Yankees. That's his second of the game. It was 8-3, still 8-3. Mark Mulder gave up 13 of New York's season high, 17 hits, including that A-Rod three-run homer. A-Rod becomes the youngest to hit 350 homers and third youngest to hit 1,000 RBIs. A-Rod, 282 days old on top of 28 years. Ruben Sierra batting 444 in his last seven games with 11 RBI, including the legal flashback to April 27th when he was facing the A's in the bottom of the eighth and the Yankees were down 8-4 in the RBI double. Helped the Yankees go on to win 10-8. Back to reality, bases loaded, 8-6. Sierra comes through again, three RBI double. And the Yankees go on to win 10-8, a six-run seventh for their seventh straight win. Red Sox buzzkill continues in Cleveland. Bottom four, Ben Broussard facing Derek Miller. Lowe. Bill Miller from his knees and into right field. Runner safe at first and third error on Miller. Two batters later, Alex Escobar. Miller, two errors in one inning. It's 4-1 tribe. He said afterward, I'm stating the obvious when I say I lost the game. Top six, Manny Ramirez. Say hello to a little frat. Matt Lawton, have a good trip, Matt. 459 <laughs> feet is sixth. Josh Davis upset with Manny's long stare. Johnny Damon said about Ramirez, he has 354 career home runs. He can pimp. I hope to see Manny pimp a lot more this season. Top eight, Manny not pimping, apparently. Omar Vizquel from his knees with the Red Sox down five. I'm making that a top lane nominee. I'm, I'm not even going to ask anybody. That, that was you can do that? Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Red Sox down four in the ninth. Here's Johnny Damon. The passion. Three-run home run is first of the year, and Boston has come back there within one now in the ninth. Two outs, Rafael Betancourt, and again, Manny Ramirez not pimping with a tying run on base. Indians win 7-6. The Red Sox, they've lost five in a row. In the National League, Russ Ortiz has won his last seven decisions against the Padres. Struck out five and six and a third. Jay Payton there. Top six. Braves up a Mickemeyer. Khalil Green at the plate. Deep drive to right center field. Oh, fellas. Communication is the key to any successful relationship. We keep screwing that one up. But, but who caught that ball? Was it Wise or Jones? Dwayne or Andrew? And the answer is Andrew Jones catches it, and he catches the top play nominee for catching the ball. Bottom six, Damon Hollins, base hit to center. Johnny Estrada comes home. Hollins, a career high, three RBIs up from the minors. Recently, well, he got caught in a rundown, tagged out, but the damage was done, and the Braves win the ball game, 4-2. Astros opening three-game visit from the Pirates. Bottom one, Houston down one nothing. Craig Biggio leading off against Josh Fogg. His fourth of the season, 36th career leadoff home run. Vigio extends his National League career leadoff home run record and moves past Bobby Bonds into third all-time in that category. Top two, Craig Wilson facing Andy Pennant. Nice hair. <laughs> Have a seat. <laughs> We'll talk to Barry Melrose about that. Next batter, Chris Steins. Pettit looked great, allowed one run on two hits in five. He struck out a top three, Jack Wilson, who homered in the first up the middle. Adam Everett, no relation. Saves a run. Top lane nominee, bottom six, Jeff Kent. Almost hits the train out there. The Astros win this one 4-3. Houston has won 11 of its last 12 against Pittsburgh.